Hi, it's Stephen Kutowski here with the Washington Free Beacon. Today I'm with uh, Rep. Hudson and we're talking about gun policy. Great to be with you. My name is Richard Hudson. I represent North Carolina's 8th Congressional District. My wife Renee and I live in Concord, North Carolina with my two-year-old son, Lane. I'm the sponsor of H.R. 38, Concealed Carry Reciprocity Act, and I'm uh, proud to be here to talk to you today. Well, thank you very much for joining us. The most recent legislation, which was uh, the Stop School Violence Act, that just passed almost unanimously through the House. Uh, can you give me some of your thoughts on that? Well, I think it's important and it builds on work we've been doing for a number of years. You know, no one wants to see school shootings. You know, we, we want to um, do whatever we can uh, to address the root causes and, and figure out why these things are happening and how we can stop them from happening. Um, and so the, you know, the bill we passed this week just uh, gives more resources to local communities uh, for, you know, programs that can intervene with young people in crisis before they reach this this breaking point. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about uh, how you think the Stop School Violence Act addresses that specifically? What what What's included in the bill that, that you think will help prevent future school shootings? Well, part of it is we, we're giving grants to uh, local communities to harden schools. And the other is building on the mental health reforms that we passed two years ago in 21st Century Cures, mm -hmm. uh, which there are a number of grant programs uh, for training, for guidance counselors, for law enforcement on how to deal with folks in a mental health crisis. And there's a number of bills obviously going through Congress. What, what would your ideal legislative package look like? H.R. 38 was my bill that had uh, concealed carry reciprocity, mm -hmm. it had fixed nicks, and it also uh, began this to, to, uh, to gather information and facts about bump stocks. And uh, you know, I really would like to see the Senate bring that forward because I think that's a good start. There are other things we ought to be doing. Um, obviously, this legislation that we passed this week, I think, is, is a good thing to do. Much of the focus in the last few <clears throat> weeks, um, the last month, has been on uh, pressure to pass gun control. Is something going to be done for people who support national reciprocity or suppressor reform, things like that at the federal level? Well, I think, you know, we can do more than one thing at one time. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I think it's right that we're asking these questions about gun violence. When you're talking about how do we make our families and ourselves safer, uh, they all are part of the same discussion. I mean, you know, the ability for law-abiding citizens to, to drive across that imaginary state line with their family and still be able to keep their concealed weapon, um, I think it's as important as the questions of how do we, how do we uh, you know, defend our schools, how do, we, you know, how do we deal with mental illness in our communities. Well, just one last question for you, and uh, is that, are you ready to go hit up the range? Always. 